shall I be a prey. Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Number two. The Lord had saved him out of all his troubles. So the question is, why did David issue the challenge? Number one, the Lord had delivered him from all his fears. And the Lord had saved him out of all his troubles. Being a king in the kingdom, Brother Jim, praise God, Brother Jim, as a king, he had lots of subjects, he had lots of people, soldiers, servants, all the member, hallelujah, inside the border of his territory. And he should be an example to trust God. Being a leader spiritually in the temple for praise and worship, being a leader in battle, in all areas of being a king, he should be the example so that people can look at him Amen. as a true leader or a person or a leader of God. If the leader shows praise and an example in their life, being alive in holiness, their people will just follow. So David set himself as an example for all the kingdom. And he said to the people, I have fear also, but I saw God and he delivered all my fears. I have troubles, but God delivered me from all my troubles. So he tell the people, he prays to the people that even you have fear like me as a king, even if you have trouble like me as a king, but we have the same God. My God is the same your God. My God is bigger. Your God is the same. Come on, we have some time to cover our hands and worship with us. So being an example of praise and worship, he did not hide himself. He did not hide his fears. He did not hide his struggles to all his subjects. Yes. But what he was telling them, yes, I have fear, but I was able to overcome because our God is yes. powerful. Yes, I have troubles, but our God, hallelujah, is very merciful to yes. us. So yes. therefore, if I trust God being a king, you subjects, you soldiers, you servants, all of you must trust God. Yes. And when all the kingdom will trust him, no kingdom can defeat us. No enemy. which is the thing in my family. Because the church in Bukwan City, my home church, praise God, hallelujah, the pastor resigns in my local church and he brings lots of people. <laughs> praise God. So the district now is the one who hold, and that is one of the biggest church in the Philippines. Praise God. They have a very big property. Praise God, hallelujah. But uh, the work nasisira in Kauai, Kailangan i-restore ang gawain. So, my name is one that they put, hallelujah, in the district to present in the, my home church in Bukwan City. So, this month or maybe next month, they are going to, to do an election and they are going to choose three out of three as their lead pastor. And my name is one of them. So, if they will choose me by the will of God, if God will put in their heart that I'm going to lead that church yes. where I came from in the ministry, then we will go home. Praise God. Yes. So let us pray for the will of God because this is about the body of Christ. Yes. I ask your prayer. Your prayer must be, Lord, let your will be done. Yes. Yes. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, because wherever we are, as Christ is the head of the body, yes. 
He knows where is the most necessary. Yes. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I ask you prayer about this because, hallelujah, this is a very, praise God, a, a serious thing for the direction of God in our life. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Next Sunday, we have still a service here. Okay? Next Sunday, we have still a service here at New Life. August 1 and 8, we have no service here because they will change the flooring. We have already all the materials there. If you want to see what kind of flooring, just uh, give up and look at them. Later on. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, that is why David, praise the hallelujah, presented himself. Look at me. I have fears. But the Lord delivered all my fears. Look at me. I have troubles. But the Lord delivered all my troubles. That is why David issued a challenge to all of us. Everybody shall amen. amen. Look at verse 6. This is what the Bible said. This poor man cried. Everybody shout, this poor man cried. This poor man cried. And the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his trouble. Well, what the writer is saying, I am David. I'm just a poor boy. Yes. I'm just a shepherd. I'm not rich. Yes. If he was in the throne, it was by the grace of God. Amen. It was not by his choice. But God put him in that pedestal of success. Yes. Why? His heart is always connected to the heart of God. He always sing. He always compose songs in praise and worship to God. He always sing to God. He always acknowledge God. In the temple, he will dance. Hallelujah. When in fact, he is killed. He is killed every day. 24 hours to have a choir singing. In the temple. There's no other king like David. Yes. yes, Solomon was wise, but when it comes, hallelujah, to holiness and reverence to God, walang makakatalo kay David. Yes. Because if he is going to look back where he came from, he was just a poor man, poor boy. But every trial, every fear that he has, look at the Bible, this poor man cried. He was preparing to himself. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him. All we can do is cry out to God. Yes. I repeat it again. Sometimes all we can do is cry out to God. Yes, amen. Can you read it on the screen? Ready, go. Sometimes in our Christian life, all we can do is cry out to God. Why? We have no enough resources. Yes. We are not who owns what's on another big business here? Yes. We are not rich men. Yes. We are not a, a member of a well-to-do family. We, in fact, we are just domestic helpers. But I thank God you are just a domestic helper, praise God. But you are a helper with a powerful God inside. Yes. Facebook, you 
can erase, you can edit, you can modify. But you cannot edit and modify the word of God. David issued his challenge. The Lord 
hath delivered him in times of danger. He shows to the people of Israel that not just in fear, a feeling or an emotional feel, not just in troubles in mind that you cannot sleep at night, but even in actual danger. David experienced how God delivered him in actual danger. In verse 7, this is what the Bible said. The angel of the Lord. Everybody shout, the angel of the Lord. In conflict, run about them that fear him and deliver them. David discovered he was not alone. Even in times of peril, he could feel very secure. God's deliverance of his people is found throughout the Bible. Amen. I repeat it again. God's deliverance of his people is found throughout the Bible. Amen. From cover to cover, you can see stories after stories, testimonies after testimonies, how God delivered his people out of danger. With pursuit by angry soul, David had been delivered. When surrounded by his enemies, he was protected. No wonder he issued this enduring challenge to us in this last generation. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. This is the challenge. Can you taste? Can you see that the Lord is good? Because the moment you trust him, you are a blessed man. <laughs> so what is the taste of the soul? According to C.H. Scorchel, faith is the soul's taste. Kung matikman ko lang ang iyong kaluluwa, kung anong lasa niya, ang faith, sabi ni Scorchel, faith is the soul's taste. Ang lahat ng may faith, itas ang kamay. Amen. Hallelujah. All who have faith, whether it's small, whether it's lousy faith, as long as you have faith. Some have bigger faith, some have strong faith, some have, praise God, hallelujah, small faith. But don't worry, as long as you have faith, like a mustard seed, hallelujah, there is nothing impossible like to you, Jesus said.
Shaking. Next verse. And Jesus, with all his emotion, asked the twelve disciples. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? After you have tried, after you have seen, after you hear all my parables, will you also go away? Peter answered and said, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. I tried you. We have tried you. You are the only one that speaks the words of eternal life. Why should we go away? After we have tried, we will stay. Shall we stand together? I hope that the message is clear to you. After that you have tried the Lord. After, hallelujah, that you have drink the goodness of God. You have tasted the powers of the world to come according to Hebrews chapter 6. If you backslid, if you go away, there's no more sacrifice for you. Pagbalikan mo ang kasalanan na pinagsisihan mo tulad ng mga bisyo sa buhay. Kapatid, wala na pong ibang Kristo na magpapako pa doon sa krus. Because you have sinned openly and you put the Lord of glory into shame. So this afternoon, I know that every one of us, guests and visitors, thank you for coming. Have you tried the goodness of God in your life? Have you tried how to how how good the feeling when you are being filled with the Holy Ghost? But who will know, brother? Two, three years, five years from now, I pray that you will not go away. I pray that you will not wait back. I pray that you will not backslide after you try. They will always lost their life. Yeah. No one will be saved if they will go away from the ship. Pag natalun ka sa barko ng palalampalataya, wala ka ng kaligtasan. How many times every afternoon, Sunday afternoon, preaching after preaching with Pastor Plaza and Pastor Librano, you are being revived in the Holy Ghost. But I will tell you, church, Probably the years from now, will you stay? 